So, welcome class. The limit I'm going to be discussing with very short. The one I'm going to be discussing and the one that involves infinity. And uh, for example, if I, if I give you 1 all over 0, it's what? It's equal to what? Infinity. And if I give you 1 all over infinity, it's equal to what? 0. Note these two rules, it's very important. Let's continue. For example, if I give you a limit, if you have a limit of example 1, you have a limit to infinity, x is, what am I right? You have x is to what? Infinity, right? Then you have 8x plus what? 2, all over what? 2x plus what? Plus 5. Then, the first thing you're going to do here is what? You can see that we have x this like this and we involve infinity. So what I'm going to do is what? The highest value of x is here is 1, 1, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the, the, the top and the bottom by the what? The highest value of x. And the highest value of x is x raised to the power of what? 1. So what I'm going to do is what? So dividing this is 1 all over 1 times 1 all over x. This will be what? Times 1 all over 1 x. Right? So if you times this by this, you have 8 plus what? Plus 2 all over x. Remember, this will come and times this. x will cancel x. This will come and have this. And then, like I said, do not forget, under infinity, different rules. We have to remember in in the part one of limits, whenever you go to this, I say do not multiply. But under limits involving infinity or zero, you have to multiply everything out. So multiplying everything out is what is what you're going to get. So this divided by this, you're going to get what two, right? Plus what five divided by what x. So automatically, the whole thing will change to what. Limit of x is what? Equal to what? Infinity. And what you're going to get is x, 8 plus 1. x all over what? 2 all over x divided by what? 2 plus 5 all over what? x. Now, once it's like this, we can simply apply our word limit and answer will work. And answer will flow just naturally. Now, the next thing you're going to do is. Remember, whenever you see x, you put what? 0. Right? So this is 8 plus 2 all over infinity. Whenever you see infinity, you put. So this is what? 2 plus 5 all over what? Infinity. And like I said, anything 1 all over infinity is what? 0. Right? So this will give you what? 8 plus 0 all over what? 2 plus what? 0. So this will give you what? 8 divided by 2, which is equal to what? 4. If you can still like, you can arrange it like this, that 8 plus 2 times what? 1 all over what? Infinity. All over 2 plus 5 times 1 all over what? Infinity. Right? So, 1, this divided by this will still give you what? 0. So that is how we got this like this, and the, uh, the our answer is what zero. Like I said, whatever from our rule number one, one divided by infinity is zero. One divided by zero is what infinity. Are you with me? Good. Now let's go to another example. Let's go to another example. Under this example, I will still keep this rule. This rule is very important under this course. What if you have, what if you have limit s is equal to what? Infinity. And then you have x squared, 9x squared, plus 3x, right? And you divide everything by 5x minus 3x squared plus what? 2. So, what are we going to do? Ask yourself a very simple question. What's the highest value of x in this equation? The highest value of x is what? x squared. What are you going to do? 
you're going to simply what? Divide the top and the bottom by what? The highest value of what? X. And then the highest value of X here is what? So what you're going to still do is just what? Divide everything. Here is times it by what? 1 all over what? X squared. Times this by 1 all over what? X squared. And that, and that is all. So, when you times this by this, what you're going to get is what? 9. Minus 3 all over what? X. This will times this. X will cancel X. So you have what? 5 all over X. Minus 3 plus 2 all over what? X squared. Right? You still have our limit of x is equal to what? Infinity. Right? Now, the next thing we are going to do is what? Wherever we see x, we put what? The, our, our infinity sign. Is it not? So here is just what? 9 minus 3 all over what? Infinity. All over what? 5 all over what? Infinity. Minus 3 plus 2 all over what? Infinity. And like I said, remember, this is the same thing as what? 1 times 1 all over what? Infinity, right? And 1 divided by infinity, 1 divided by infinity will give you what? 0. So automatically here is 0, here is 0, here is 0. So your answer will change to what? So you have 9 minus 0 all over 0 minus 3 plus 1, 0. Right? So... Automatically, our answer is what? 9 all over 1 minus 3, which is what? Minus 9 all over 1, 3. And that is the answer. So once under this cost, you know that 1 divided by 0 is infinity, and anything that infinity divides will give you 0. And then the next thing is when you are giving this kind of complex number, the highest value of what? X is what you're going to use to divide both the top and bottom. Your answer will just be flowing what? Naturally. Let me give you one more example under this course. One more example and um, we will call it a day. Now, what if you have um, something like this? The integration involving sine and cos. But before I, I, I go into in-depth under this, I want to um, introduce a simple rule again under this one. What if you have a limit of x sine x all over x is equal to 1? And then you have that x have a what? The highest limit of x is what? 0. Right? Now, I want to show you something. Whenever on that limit involving trig, remember in this limit, why students find it difficult is the laws involved in this limit. You have to know the whole laws that is involved in this limit. Right? So, whenever under limit, for example, if I give you x all over x, right? And then the function here is the same thing that is in the denominator. The answer is simply 1. Look at what I'm saying. If I give you sign 5x and then here is what 5x your answer is what 1 if i give you sine 3x and here i divide everything by what 3x your answer is simply what 1 this is the law you should know let me give you a very perfect example of what i'm talking about if i give you a limit of for example sine 3x divided by 4x and you have a limit you have a limit and I give you a limit of what? x is what? 0 so you have that limit of what? x is 0 now the, the next thing under this under limit is you're going to have you try and think of what number will I time so that I will have 3x here and I have what? 3x here and the least something you can do is just times everything by 3 divided by 3 because 3 divided by 3 is 1 anything that times 1 is still 1, one. so 3 divided by 3 look at what I'm going to do I'm going to 3 th three, 4x times 3 will give you 12x now, but I'm not going to multiply them together what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to interchange them 
So I'll bring this here and I'll bring here this one inside this name. So it's going to give me what? So I'm going to have sine of what? 3x all over 3x times this 3 is still here divided by this 4. I'll replace it here. So you have 3 divided by 4. And remember, whenever you have a value here and it might one that is in the denominator, here autom automatically is what? So sine 3x all over 3x will give you what? 1. So you have 1 you dot 1, 3 all over 4. So 1 times 3 all over 4 will still give you what? 3 all over 4. I'm going to give a lot of explanation on this under the next video under what? Limit involving what? 3. So thank you very much for this video. See you in another section.